Today we're going to check out a massive case collection made specifically for the S24 series from Samsung that was just unveiled. We're talking about cases from Poetic Cases, cases from VRS Design, as well as a case made specifically by Whitestone Dome Glass. So without further ado, this is TK and this is my review of these cases for the S24 series. Let's check them out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. So I do want to say thank you very much to both VRS Designs as well as Poetic Cases for sending me out their cases. Now this one is the Whitestone Dome Glass. This one's made specifically for Whitestone because it actually also uh, enables us to actually use those camera lens protection kits that we have in there. So that's one of the biggest differences here that we don't get with the other cases that we're looking at. But when we start looking at them, we're looking at different designs from both companies. Poetic, well, all three companies, Poetic, Whitestone, as well as VRS design. We're going to start off with the first case and that's going to be from Whitestone Dome Glass. First thing you'll notice right out of the box, it does have the MagSafe compatibility here. So if you do have a MagSafe accessory, this is going to work really good. The openings for the camera sensors here are again a little bit bigger and this is going to actually allow us to use their lens protection kit that they have. You don't have to use it, but if you do, this is definitely going to work with it. It is a hard shell case, providing us buttons on the side here and of course openings for all the right areas. Let's go ahead and put our device. And one of the main benefits of cases like this is the ability of enjoying the color of our device. So whichever titanium version that you decide to get, this is going to work great. Again, button configuration, we can still see the side here with the antennas. And of course, the opening at the top with the microphones at the bottom for the S Pen. Let's go and let it focus a little bit and give it a second. Speaker, USB-C, and of course, the power, uh, well, the microphone. The uh, SIM card here can be visible or you can see it, but it's not available there. One thing to mention though is obviously this is going to work with wireless charging, no issues at all. Let's go ahead and put that on there. I'm going to put it on the Samsung 10,000 milliampere one that I have. I'll give it a second to show. And as we see here, it starts charging. Now, one of the biggest things I'll say is from a configuration standpoint, it looks great. It is flat on both sides. It's not going to give us any issues, no wobble. And of course, provide us a flat surface on the bottom and on the top. Now, the next one, we're going to take a look at obviously the three cases that we got from Poetic Cases. These three cases are specifically designed for the S24 series or the S24 Ultra, the one that I have. But they do have ones available for the S24 or the S24 Plus. So the first one on the left is going to be the Neon Mac Pro. That's going to be for the Samsung S24 Ultra. This is going to be the Neon Samsung. This is not the Mac Pro because it does not have the Mac magnetic uh, configuration on the back. And the last one we have is the Spartan series, which enables us to actually have a little bit more of a rugged uh, type of an experience. Starting off on the left, we'll notice right there, I'm going to go ahead and remove the two cases on the side. Now, first and foremost, you'll probably say, okay, these two look identical. And then it's true. They pretty much have only one big difference is the fact that this one has the ring where this one does not. So if you're looking for a case that looks really nice, very slick, and it is a two piece case, let's go ahead and remove. You can notice right there, there's two pieces in there. You take one piece in there and you actually put your device in. That's how you actually, if you want to put it in without having any, any kind of brute force required in there. And then at that point, just basically align the, the sides of it, put it on, and you'll notice that there's a little bit of a snap. And at this point, your device is inserted. Very nice and very clean. Again, wireless charging, no problem. Protection for the camera lenses as they're a little bit more uh, inwards than it is. So it's still a flat surface. Grips on the top as well as on the bottom. So provide us nice grip on the phone when you're holding it. Buttons for obviously the power button, of course, volume rocker on the bottom opening for again, the microphone, USB-C speaker, as well as the obviously S Pen that we have in there and the two microphones at the top. This is again, one of the, their more slim rugged cases, of course, works great with the glass protector that I have here. This one is from Whitestone and I really like their implementation the way they did it here. So for this one, I'm actually not even going to remove the inside piece since they're using the exact same piece. You notice right there, they're actually identical when it comes to that. Uh, you just put it on again, the same way we did it in the other one, make sure that it just fits tightly on the sides and that everything is basically aligned the way you want to have it. Now, this one still is flat because the way of this implantation here for the ring, again, cover for the camera lenses, the openings, everything works pretty much the same that you have it before. The difference is if you want to use a kickstand, voila, we have now a kickstand that not only works in any orientation. Now, obviously this one's going to be a little bit harder, but you can put the device a little bit up, use it this way. You could use it the other way. And of course, last but not least, use any MagSafe accessory that you want. And one thing I will say, although there has been some reports on MagSafe cases that have implemented or at least hindered the use of the S Pen, this one actually works really nice because it's sitting on the outside of the case and between it and the phone, there's about two layers, the plastic from the outer shell. And then of course, the rubber from the inside, providing us the ability of using MagSafe accessories without having any interruption or impact directly on the S Pen. Again, looks great, feels great, pretty much the same exact case feel with 
obviously MagSafe accessory compatibility. And of course, a built-in kickstand. Unfortunately, it does not turn and it's not removable, but it works great. The next case we're gonna take a look at here, this is their Spartan series, which allows us to actually have two different covers. This is the outer cover of the display. If you don't have a glass protector, which I already have one on mine, but if you don't have one, this actually includes the kit to be able to adhere this piece. This is essentially a, a ruggedized case that includes a cover for the back, a kickstand, but it also provides us with a plastic, uh, kind of like a screen protector, but in a sense, it's actually not connecting with the display except for the area where the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor is. This is one of the only unique experiences that you wanna have if you wanna be able to use their built-in case. Now, if you're like me and you have already a built-in glass protector or not a built-in one that you've already applied, you definitely wanna jump on to this case, which is essentially the same case, which a different front-facing uh, package in there. So what you do here is there is a little bit of a lip on the side that you push off. You remove the inside case. So obviously, again, if you're using it, you could use it there. There is a small piece of adhesive that allows you to actually stick it to the display. So this area will definitely make sure that you have a good readout from the fingerprint sensor. But for me, since I'm using the actual glass there, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on. Again, insert it on one side. And at this point, you definitely wanna make sure that everything aligns and it actually closes. You notice how there's a little bit of an opening there. Bring it in, put it on. And of course, just make sure that it goes all around the phone. Now, first and foremost, it is somewhat of a flat experience on the back. That's one thing. We do have a cover for the glass element so you can open it up and close it, a little bit more protection. And of course, we also have a kickstand here that works great in this four view interview. And of course, in this format, and last but not least, of course, otherwise. But again, this will help you have the device stand up the way you want it. When you don't want it, you just pop it up on the top, make sure you click on the back so you have that nice little flush experience and your device is protected. On the bottom, we have an opening with a little bit of a side opening here, since this is a little bit more ruggedized. It does cover the USB-C, and of course, that's one of the main things that you wanna keep in mind. It has a slight opening for the microphone, for the sound, speaker, and of course, S Pen. Very easy and very simple to remove. Nothing on the, sorry, nothing on the left side, and of course, the power button, as well as the, of course, volume rocker here, and opening at the top for the microphones. Very nice and very simple. You can definitely push, remove, and then you can use your device with the you know screen off memo, all the things that you normally want to use. And if you don't, just put it back in. Make sure you make sure you hear that nice uh, response there. And then of course you could just use it the way you want. And of course, wireless charging not a problem with this rugged case. Again, I'm using a the Samsung charger here, but as long as the wireless charger is able to align with the coil in the center, you'll be fine. Now the next three designs that we're taking a look are from VRS Designs. There's a few cases here. We're going to go ahead and flip over the cases just to see the names, and we actually have a few colors available depending on the model that we're looking into. The design that we have here obviously is the Glide Pro, the MagSafe Terra Guard, and of course the Glide Ultimate. Now we have different colors depending on the models that we're looking at, but we're gonna start off obviously first with the Glide Pro that we have here on the left side. And this one is pretty much a standard iconic design that we had from VRS for a few years now. This is a design that allows us to actually have a nice little wallet on the back of our device. Now, this obviously adds a little bit of a thickness to the device. It is a TPU, more of a, a harder plastic, very nice protection. Let's go ahead and put it on the device. And the thing about it is this is a single piece, although it looks like it could be two, you probably want to say that maybe you should start off from the bottom first and then align it with the top. Works great with the glass protector that I have here. It does provide us with a little bit of a raised lip on the on the bottom and on the top to provide us a little bit of protection on our device. A grip on across all the entire device and of course a lanyard option on the bottom not included with this one. No opening door sliding here. We do have that in a couple of options, but again, it's the ability of being able to put up to three cards, three to four cards, depending on the thickness of them, and have it with you all the time. The one thing though I will say, unfortunately, wireless charging is not compatible with this type of case as it provides a much thicker spacing between the wireless charging coil and of course the charger that you're gonna be using. We have a power button, volume rocker opening at the top. Let's let that focus a little bit here. And of course, on the bottom, access to the S Pen with a nice little side opening here so that we can actually just push and of course, remove. Very easy, very nice. An opening for the speaker as well as the microphone and of course, the USB-C. A larger opening for the USB-C to accommodate most charging cables. Otherwise, very nice. And again, one of the options that if you're looking to not have to carry a wallet and your phone, this is definitely gonna take care of it for you. And of course, everything is included inside of here. Very nice. And they do have other options or other colors available for this case as well. Now, the next one we're gonna take a look is the MagSafe Terra Guard Ultimate. Now, this one is gonna actually be a really nice multifunctional option because not only does it include MagSafe functionalities on the back, but it also includes a nice little door here that actually acts like a kickstand for when you wanna actually put the phone on the side. And of course, provides us protection for our elements or glass elements that we have in here. As you can see there, it provides us coverage for the entire device, leaving a little bit of spacing at the top. Works great with the glass protector that 
I have in here, make sure that it is aligned correctly. On the side, again, pretty much just the uh, VRS logo, a nice little grip material. No lane, oh, actually, nope. Take that back. Lanyard is positioned right there on the bottom. Opening for the USB-C, the microphone, the speaker, as well as the, of course, here, right there, the S-Pen itself. On the top, opening for the microphones. And on the back, as I mentioned, we have the MagSafe ring on the side here. It's on the outside part of the case. It is not removable like the one we saw with the other one. But we do have this nice little kickstand that provides us the ability of actually aligning our phone the way we want it. Now, unfortunately, it is positioned at the top. So if you want to maybe put it at a nine degree, you can use your phone, but it has to be upside down. You can definitely put it straight down if you align it and you're able to be very careful with it. But for the most part, it's very much going to just give you the ability of using your phone in kind of like a content consumption mode, as I like to say it. Now, it does not open all the way. It does stop at this configuration. You can definitely see it there. Very nice and very easy. And when you're not using it, conserve it. Conf close it up and it does actually close it does not open it does have a nice little locking mechanism of course wireless charging is compatible as again is just make sure to align it with the center of the MagSafe ring and that's going to allow you to charge it directly on any charger now obviously i'm using the flat one here but it should work perfectly for you guys the last case we're going to take a look is the glide ultimate now this one combines features from the first case and the second case that we saw first and foremost there's a couple of colors that they sent me here and they also included this nice little strap or basically uh, for the hook that we can use on the bottom here of the gigas so you can definitely put it on and you have a much better configuration or at least hook that you're able to make sure to secure this and of course you can clip this somewhere if you'd like to the biggest thing i'll say between the two they, they both include one as well is that it's just the color configuration you can either go with khaki or their standard color both include the wallet with the see-through options on the inside so you can definitely see the color of your phone and also both include that nice kickstand that we looked at again before to allow us to use the device in a more of a content consumption experience so if you're looking for a really nice rugged case with wallet configuration and kickstand, this is definitely going to be the best. One of the biggest things I'll probably say is this is obviously not going to support a wireless charging. You definitely put this thing at the bottom first and then insert and insert. Works great with glass protectors, provide us that protection. Again, includes a nice little hook. You can have this connected to your backpack or something in case you're walking away and you can definitely hook it up there or even have it in the situation where this is hooked to the case and this ends up being hooking up to maybe like to, your, to the side of your pants when you have it in your pocket. So it does not fall off. Protection on the display, of course, the bump or at least the raised edges here. No, inf no buttons or anything on the, sorry, take that back. No buttons on the left, volume rocker and power on the right opening at the top and of course opening at the bottom. The opening at the bottom obviously is going to be raised as that's how it's going to be configured here. So you can actually put the hook on both sides, accessing the S Pen, USB-C, nice little big opening there, as well as the speaker. This again, provide us the best experience between all of the cases. Now there's no MagSafe compatibility, no wireless charging compatibility, as you can imagine. Same concern as the other one. You can put in basically two to three cards on the back and not have to worry about your wallet. As you saw, there are a lot of cases, a lot of good configurations. My favorite out of the ones I shared with you guys today it's going to definitely be the poetic case with the MagSafe kickstand and that's going to be because it's actually very functional even if I don't use MagSafe accessories because actually it's a nice strong kickstand and if I do want to use MagSafe accessory keep it closed it's nice and thin provides me that nice uh, thin and light feel of the case while still providing me some of that rugged experience and it works great with glass protection so overall that's one of my favorites and of course there's a lot of other things here I hope that you found something that interests you and that will help you protect your device like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support. And of course, I'll see you in the next video.